Hey there, welcome back to Pacer Talks About Bullying. I'm Bailey, we're glad you're here. This week, we're talking all about cyberbullying. Cyberbullying is using technology to hurt or harm another person. As a student, it's important to remember that just as you deserve to be safe at school and in your community, you also deserve to be safe online. In this week's episode, we're gonna share some tips on how to address cyberbullying and break it down into three parts. First, how to prevent it. Second, what to do if you experience it. And third, what to do if you see it happening. Now, let's get into the episode. To get started with part number one, let's talk about how to prevent it. First, never share passwords or private photos or personal data such as your address with anyone online, even friends. Just as you think about your safety in the physical world, it's also really important to think about how to be safe in the online world. Never publicly reveal anything online that you wouldn't want shared with others. Even if you share something in private with someone online, it can still be shared with anyone, even your parents and teachers. It's also important to think about the content that you're posting. If things get heated, think before you type. If you're angry or upset or sad, wait to post or respond so you have some time to cool down. Remember, things said online can't be taken back. Before you comment about someone, think about how you would feel if that was said to you. Your words matter and make a difference, whether they're said in person or online. Now let's get into part two about what you can do if you experience cyberbullying. First and foremost, tell an adult. It can be your parents, a relative, a coach, a teacher, a guidance counselor, a family friend, anyone that you feel comfortable talking with about the cyberbullying. Again, you have the right to be safe online and adults can help. You're not alone. With cyberbullying, it's also really important to save everything. Emails, messages, posts, or screenshots. It's a natural response to want to delete hurtful messages, but having that documentation is so important. If you don't want the saved messages on your phone, you can always print them out or email or send them to your trusted adult. Lastly, it's important to know that you have the right to be safe online. Many schools have policies on cyberbullying, so you can report what's been happening to your school. You can also report harassing comments, fake profiles, or inappropriate photos online, as many social media sites have great reporting tools out there. You have the right to be safe in those online spaces. And for the third section, let's talk about what you can do if you see bullying happening online. Many students may see cyberbullying and want to do something, but aren't sure how to help. Know that you have options. First, it's important not to participate. Don't like or share posts that are bullying someone. Although you may feel the pressure to join in, know that you can make your own choice not to contribute. You can also report hurtful content that you see online, even if it's not directly targeting you. You have a few options when it comes to reporting. Social media tools have great anonymous options that you can use to report a post or a comment or a picture, or you can also share that content with an adult that you trust. And lastly, you can show positive support. If you feel comfortable and if it's safe, post a comment showing your support for the student experiencing bullying online. You could also reach out to them with a private message, letting them know that they don't deserve to be treated this way and that they're not alone. Imagine what a difference one kind comment could make among a bunch of mean ones. Your actions have the power to make a difference. And that's all that we have for this week's episode of Pacer Talks About Bullying. Remember, what you say and what you do matters, not only in person, but online as well. We'll see you right back here next week. And remember, together we can help create a world without bullying. See ya.